सो हे गाइज वेलकम टू द चैनल कोर्ट शेफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग इन गेट अ गुड होल्ड ऑन डी एस ए दिस इज द वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू एवरी वीक देर सेवरल वीडियोज विच विल एनहेंस योर स्किल्स इन डी एस ए एंड द एडिटोरियल वीडियोज ऑफ द कोर्ट शेफ कॉन्टेस्ट सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल दैन डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड टर्न ऑन द बेल नोटिफिकेशन माई सेल्फ चिरायु जैन एम कोर्ट शेफ एजुकेटर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट पाथ कंप्रेशन एंड वी लुक एट द कोड ऑल्सो दैट हाउ वी कैन ऑप्टिमाइज द कोड ऑफ डिस्ट्रॉइंट सेट यूनियन ओके गाइज सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इज पाथ कंप्रेशन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इन डिस्ट्रॉइंट सेट यूनियन राइट सो वी हैव सीन वॉट इज डिस्ट्रॉइंट सेट वॉट इज डिस्ट्रॉइंट सेट यूनियन एलगोरथम यूनियन बाय रैंक राइट सो नाउ वी वुड लुक एट वन मोर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन दैट वी कैन प्रोवाइड टू आर एलगोरथम सो दैट द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी रिड्यूस एफिशियंटली राइट so if we see here that what are the key points that we can take from our last video in this particular series that we are using two functions that is find parent and the another one is union right so in the find parent we are finding the absolute parent of any particular element right and in the union right what we are trying to do with the help of the parent array and the rank array we are trying to union the two sets right so now where is the time complexity involved right so first thing is whenever we are finding the parent what we are trying to do is we are again and again searching for the absolute parent right so let us say that uh this is the particular connectivity that we have that is 1 2 and some more node 4 right so this is the connectivity that we have so what we need to do is we need to ultimately find the absolute parent of 4 right so again we move from 4 to 2 this is the absolute parent right so again and again we are trying uh, for each connectivity of 4 again and again we are trying to reach this position right so the optimization in the path compression says that why to move again and again from this path just directly connect 4 with 1 right just directly connect 4 with 1 so that whenever you required you will require the absolute parent of 4 it can give you 1 this is the path compression optimization right so if you go with the help of definition that we require logarithmic time right the log and time are dependent on the node and the depth of the tree we require the logarithmic time to search the absolute parent of any element right so what we should do is instead of getting the absolute parent at every call we can store it in the first attempt right whenever we are trying to get the absolute parent we can store it okay the absolute parent of 4 is 1 right we can try to store it and this modification of path is known as path compression right so if you see the path has been modified from 4 uh to 1 via 2 and now it is like directly from 4 to 1 right so we are reducing these calls right we are reducing these calls and directly saving it as a one this is a simple path compression technique right so let us say that if we have something like this 1 2 and 3 is connected and 4 and 5 is connected and like 6 is connected so after this what will happen is ultimately all the nodes will be like 1 2 3 6 4 and 5 right so if you see this cluster is formed right instead of depth what we are trying to do we are connecting each and every element with the utmost parent that is with the absolute parent of itself right so this is what the path compression technique is ultimately we are just interested in the absolute parent we are not concerned about what the immediate parent is right we are only concerned about the absolute parent if you see in the rank also union by rank also we check the uh, we check what is the absolute parent of it right and then we do the following comparisons right so uh to know the absolute parents why to call again and again just immediately store uh, immediately link the node with it apps with its absolute parent and get the results so this is what a single beautiful uh, compression optimization we have for the path and it automatically reduces the time complexity of logarithmic to a constant time complexity right so if you see if we look at uh, like how where this dsu is better right but the technique is this only of path compression right now let us try we have seen the example as well that how it is working now let us see a simple modification in the existing code that we have for uh, disjoint set union by, by rank 
algorithm and just simply modify that particular code and see the results right and see the app, uh, exact results that we are getting in that algorithm previously as well right so now let's look at the code okay guys so this is the code that we have seen in the previous video as well for the union by rank algorithm that we have seen right so in this what we need to do is we need to perform the path compression right so if you see this union by rank a function from find parent function we are getting the absolute parent of it right and what we need to do is we need to just assign the value of that particular node's parent as its absolute parent right so what we can do is here in this particular function when we are finding the utmost value of this uh, node's parent what we can do is at the last we can assign it that the parent of this eighth node will be whatever value we should get it from the recursive call of this and at the end whatever value is returned we should assign it to this parent of this particular element right so this is the simple optimization that we can do for the rank compression right this is nothing as uh, such as hard code only this particular thing needs to be added and our code will be optimized right so this is one of the optimization of the parent code and guys so if you also want to see that if the two nodes are present in the same component or not right as it is very useful in other algorithms as well as in the problems as well so what you can do is you can just make a quick check over here that if a node belongs if two nodes belong to the same component then their ultimate or absolute parent must be same right so how we can check the absolute parent that is with this function right find parent function right so find parent and here we are passing the nodes right so first we can input the nodes let us say that there are f1 and f2 nodes right and we input them c in f1 and c in f2 right these are the two nodes that we have and we pass this to this function if the find parent of these two are equal then they belongs to the same component right so you can see out same otherwise it will be different component right so you can see out different right so this is also one thing that i need to discuss with you that okay so we can check over here right we can check over here we can just write okay one and three right these two things one and three belong to the same component as you can see there is an edge between one and three if we want to look at let us say one and five right let us input one and five over here what we should get is it belongs to different component right so d i w f okay so that's the thing uh, for same component you can check over here and make a quick check and then you can just find it out so that's all from this uh, rank compression now let us discuss uh, something that is where to apply this d s u and where you can apply d f s as well to find the component okay guys so now let us see what is the comparison between the dsu and dfs and why we require dsu right so the task the main goal that we are trying to achieve here right is done which is done by dsu can also be done with the help of dfs right when we have all the connectivity we can perform dfs and we can see that okay these are the components uh, for the given set of edges and uh, by performing the dfs we can also verify that okay these two uh, Uh, nodes do not belong to the same component or not right but why then do we require dsu right so the answer lies here right during the execution when we are executing a program and we are getting the constant edges for the given graph if we need to check that whether these things belong to the same component or whether it belongs to different component then generally dsu is a better option right so if you see the example where it can be required is the kruskal's algorithm right you will learn about kruskal's algorithm when we are going to learn about mst right minimum spanning trees so there is a requirement for cycle detection that whether the connectivity between uh, between the two nodes or the edge that we are giving to this particular graph is forming a cycle or not in that particular case we can check that okay if the parent the ultimate parent is same then they can form a cycle otherwise not right so there the requirement of dsu lies right so this is what a quick difference between the dfs and the dsu is and where do we require the dsu so that's all from this particular understanding of disjoint set union and the optimizations with the help of union by rank and the path compression 
now in the next video we'll look at what are the minimum spanning trees so that's it from my side so thank you for watching the video guys if you like the content then please do hit the like button you can also know the updates about the videos coming onto the channel by joining our telegram group the link to the telegram group is in the description if you want to write your thoughts and if you want that this content should be on the channel then please do write in the comment section below i'll see you in the next part